What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. We have the first Aquaman movie DLC for LEGO DC Supervillains. Thank you so much to WB Games for flying me to New York City, letting me watch the movie, and uh, just have a good time. I mean, it was awesome. Uh, I got to play the DLC, as you can see. Uh, the level pack should have gone up about an hour ago. We were stuck here in... Um, apocalypse so I would have preferred to have done this in a brighter area but I'll make another video uh, when the DLC comes out on September or December 4th which is this coming Tuesday uh, it'll be out for everybody you know switch Xbox uh, PlayStation so stay tuned just a couple days away so this is a great early preview and again WB games they always take care of me and uh, I just have to say it's phenomenal i love the dlc it's really cool and having seen the movie now i completely understand why they are doing two dlcs so i didn't have a lot to work with um so i'm just trying to show off some of the different skills uh there are six characters in this pack right now we are seeing mera and she's got that advanced glide going on mera is awesome amber heard was awesome as mera in the movie um, now you're going to see a couple little weird glitches pop up here and there. It's because this is not the real version here. Um, but yeah, we're showing off all of her skills. Uh, I, not, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say the real version, but um, it's basically a, a prototype version of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and try to read everything along with it. We're showing off all the skills. And uh, this is Mera, the daughter of King Narius. Uh, ruler of the undersea kingdom of Zebel, Princess Mera is a formidable warrior who has the ability to manipulate water using hydrokinesis. After partnering with Aquaman on an epic journey to find King Atlan's trident, more words, sorry. I'll read all these over again once, uh, once we get there, uh, once it's out. So this is the gladiator version of Aquaman. Uh, you'll understand once you see everything. And these are all of his skills. I'm doing all his voiceover stuff after playing it. I tried to time everything just right, but it's hard. You never know how long you're going to take to do everything. So um, not not how I normally do it, but hey, you know, you got to work with what you got. So, um, so being half human and half Atlantean, Arthur Curry grew up never feeling like he belonged to either the surface world or the underwater kingdom of his mother. Now in order to bring peace between both worlds, Arthur must journey to Atlantis and, I don't know, slay his brother or something. Uh, so here we have Orm in gladiator armor. And I think we get like a little glitch here maybe. No? Okay. Um, this will all make sense when you see the movie and even play the DLC. Um, it's really cool, like what they did. It, there are some minor spoilers, but it's not it's nothing you haven't seen in the uh, the trailers, I don't think. So here's the movie version of Black Manta, as you can see. Uh, he plays a great role in the movie. He's awesome. Um, so these are all of his skills. And uh, blaming Aquaman for a tragic event in his past, this former... Uh, this former... Treasure hunting pirate sought. <laughs> oh, I didn't do the whole thing, did I? Oh, no, I went back. Uh, this treasure hunting pirate sought. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, revenge and transformed himself into the fearsome Black Manta, now armed with modified Atlantean technology. This seafaring scoundrel is ready to cause deep trouble for anyone who gets in his way. First appearance, Aquaman 35, 1967. I can't talk specifically about uh, what he did in the movie, like how his role is. Um, I will have a review of the movie on December 11th. I will say the way that they worked Black Manta in without him... Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. They worked him in really well. I gotta watch what I say. Because I want to get invited to these events again in the future. So I'm just going to say they worked it out really well. Um, this is the Lego piece that comes with the Aquaman movie set. Uh, with his little uh, submarine and everything. Here we have Orm uh, in his gladiator attire. Uh, if you watched the the level earlier uh, that I posted about an hour ago, um, it'll make sense why he's in his gladiator armor. I'm assuming that we're going to get his full regular costume in the second DLC. 
uh, which is great. Uh, so comic accurate. Ah, I can't talk about the movie. I can only tell you that it's freaking amazing. That's all I can say is one line. It's amazing. Um, so here are all of his abilities. As the son of Queen At Al Atlanta and King Orvix, Orm became the king of Atlantis and set his sights on ruling over all of the undersea kingdoms as ocean master. However, after the arrival of Aquaman, Orm's half-brother and rightful heir to the throne, he is determined to hold on to his power at all costs. Um, I think Patrick Wilson played uh, Orm, and I thought he was awesome. Like, honestly, like, it, this was a great movie. I loved it. Everybody did a great job. Here's King Narius. Uh, this is Mera's uh, father, and he was played by Dolph Lundgren, which was great. Dolph was great. Like, honestly, he was really good. And here's uh, uh, Queen Atlanta, and um, this is, she's played by Nicole Kidman, also great. Django Fett's in the movie. <laughs> He's uh, Aquaman's father. Um... Tamu Morrison, I believe is how I believe it's, that's how you pronounce his name, but yeah, he was Django Fett and all the Clone War uh, warriors, soldiers. So Queen, having fled from her home to escape becoming married, Atlanta, the future Queen of Atlantis. Uh, met and fell in love with lighthouse keeper Thomas Curry. After their son Arthur was born, Atlanta was began to fear that their safety and returned to her kingdom, leaving Arthur behind to be raised by his father. So, um, I honestly, uh, the movie is so good. Uh, here's King Narius. I tried to show everybody off as best as I could. It's easier when I can just do the voiceover stuff as I'm playing as the characters. So, but you know, you gotta take whatever opportunity you get, right? And it was awesome. We got to go into uh, the PR company's office. I got to meet Walter, the uh, their office dog. <laughs> He's not really their office dog. One of the guys uh, that runs the, the office, it's his dog and uh, he's a little cutie. Uh, he has his own uh, Instagram. So if you want to follow uh, Walter, it is uh, the Daily Walter on Instagram. Uh, he's he was cool. He came in and uh, he hung out with me while I was playing. Uh, as the ruler of the underwater kingdom of Zebel and the father of Princess Mera, King Narius uh, shares the concerns of King Orm about the danger posed by the surface world. While Orm claims he will be able to unite the kingdoms, Narius remains skeptical of his ability to rule over them successfully. That is accurate. Aquaman number 19, 2013. Um, there are a lot of uh, pretty cool people there uh, with me. Um, Benny from Comic Storian was also there. And uh, I met him out in LA when I was out there previously for, um, for the, the first event that I went to. He's a really nice dude. And I super appreciated uh, him being so like, you know, outgoing and and we uh, we talked a little bit after the movie was over. So I can't wait to talk more about the movie. Um, but yeah, he was uh, he was pretty cool. I didn't really know some of the other guys. There was somebody uh, from Gamer Gamer's Little Playground, I believe. And then there was like Ghost Panda or something like that. Um, there were two guys that, uh, uh, that, oh shoot, they, they do a lot of video production, they said. I don't know, their card is upstairs, and I should have thought this through, but at this point in the video, I can't really do anything. Um, there was also a huge Brazilian YouTuber that I met in LA as well. Um, again, mind is escaping me, um, but I, I think it's like Hanzo, yeah, here's one of the weird little glitches that come up. Because this isn't like the final version of everything. So, um, but he, he's a really nice guy. I think he has like a million subscribers. Um, and he's uh, huge in Brazil, like huge in Brazil. Um, so, 
really nice dude. It was nice to meet him or see him again. Uh, we remembered each other, so uh, that's always cool. Always wanted to go to Brazil. Um, I have a buddy from high school that's from Brazil, and uh, he, uh, Fe bleh, Frederico. <laughs> um, yeah, he's he's an awesome, dude. And uh, because we would go to parties at his aunt's house and have all their Brazilian food, I've always wanted to go to Brazil. So uh, there's my story there. Um, this DLC is great. You're gonna get six characters in a level pack. Uh, the level is about uh, 10 to 15 minutes long if you do 100% completion. I believe that if you get the level by itself, it's $5 for everything. Or if you have the season pass, it's just part of it. Obviously, if you get the season pass, you save a couple dollars. This is me just like taking uh, pictures of all the characters. So <laughs> his eyes were closed. So that I had something to work with uh, for screenshots and whatnot. Um, but yeah, man, these are the characters and they're they're pretty cool. Um, I think the guy that voiced Lobo did the voice for Aquaman here, and he also has a little dolphin that he rides on that we might have seen already. So, uh, pretty, pretty cool. I'm, I'm really happy with this DLC. I have a feeling the second DLC, if they do it based on what I think they will, I have a feeling that second DLC is going to be even more epic and I would love to predict who's going to be in it but I'm not going to do that until the movie is officially out so in any event uh, you're going to see me messing around just taking pictures of all the characters for another few minutes uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this early preview uh, thank you again to WB Games TT Games uh, for all your hospitality and just taking good care of me and I promise you guys that I would feel the way that I do about all of this, even if I paid for everything myself to do all of it. I mean, um, but I do have to disclose, you know, legally that they did provide me with all that stuff. Uh, you know, airfare, hotel, food, lots of food. Oh, man, the dinner we went to after the movie, so good. So, I was just off of Times Square in New York City, so... Um, yeah, man, pretty cool stuff. And there's Ocean Master and and uh, Black Manta. I like this version of Black Manta, actually. So I'm going to shut up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you.